There was a study done by Richard Weissman where he asked them, do you think you're a lucky person? Do good things happen to you? Are you a positive person? Do you expect good things to happen to you? So then they respond to that question. And then, uh, or do you think you're a negative person? Or are you an unlucky person? Or do you, bad things happen to you and you just have to deal with it? Then you have, you give everyone a newspaper and you have them count the number of photographs in the newspaper. And you tell them if you get the right number, you get $5. Well, everyone starts going to the newspaper very quickly. It turns out in big letters, it says, stop the experiment. If you stop now, we'll give you fifty dollars. <laughs> turns out, isn't that great? It's a very yeah, expensive it's experiment to run, but it turns out that the optimists, the lucky people, the, the people that life just good things seem to happen to them. Turns out they stop and they get fifty dollars from the experiment. But the people who responded that they were negative or that they didn't expect good things to happen or they were defensive pessimists, they just assume bad things are going to happen, so they'll be pleasantly surprised in the future. They just keep counting the number of photographs. And afterwards, you ask them, did you see that big offer? And they said, no, I didn't even see it. But it turns out they did. If you do eye tracking, you can watch their eyes scan right over that, that opportunity and delete it. See, what happens is when you're a defensive pessimist, when you have a negative view of the world, your brain feels like it's under threat. So it actually focuses your resources down towards the threat. And it stops scanning the world for opportunities. When your brain is in a positive state, you not only feel like you can accomplish the task, you have resources that able to look for shortcuts or other opportunities for low-hanging fruit, which is why one of the greatest predictors of entrepreneurial success is actually optimism.